The Darwin business system for PEOs and ASOs contains about a thousand reports out of the box designed specifically for the industry. In addition to that, we provide multiple custom report writing tools for both technical users and end users. One of the most popular report, report writing tools, though, is the Excel Report Builder tool. This tool is a useful tool, especially for end users that don't have a lot of technical skills to create Excel reports. And it's more than just static Excel report data dumps. While we have that capability throughout the system, this allows you to create published Excel reports that are actually dynamic. Once you've created it one time, it remembers the data source, and whatever updates you do to the Excel report, it still refers back to the original data source. So it does a complex data connection task very simply for an end user. So you can build up your own library of Excel reports broken down by module in the system itself. So you can look at it on an almost unlimited amount of Excel reports, and you can break them out however you want. In addition to the fact that it comes with about 100 of these out of the box, you can build as many as you want. So let's build one really quickly in a minute or two. So let's say I'm, I'm creating a new report. Just label it client invoicing, and uh, we'll call it uh, customer invoices. So that'll be the name of our new report. So then I can just come in and grab different tables. So all the table descriptions are available online. So as I'm looking up these tables, I can always refer back to my tools area in the system. and It'll tell me where these tables are and what they're named. So I can, can dive in. I'll go into Darwin, find the table that's dealing with uh, Thinkware invoices, the invoices we create when we run payrolls. Um, I have a table called, uh, I'm in the wrong series, a table called uh, TW invoices. Let me find that table for us right here. And there it is. So once I've got that table located, it brings in all the fields associated with that table. And now I can actually add other tables if I wanted to. So say for example I wanted to bring in the customer master table because maybe I want to bring an address or some other information on my report. So I'll, once again I come in and choose where that table is in the system and I have a table called customer master and there it is and I just need to link it to this table. And it's very easy. When you're dealing with something like customers, the easiest way to link anything is just with the customer ID or the customer number. So once I've linked that table, I now have access to all the fields associated with this table also. So now I can bring in any of the fields associated with the customer master table or with the invoices. And then here is where the actual view is created. So for the non-technical users, it's kind of irrelevant, but it's actually creating a SQL view behind the scenes that stores this data, makes the reports generate quicker. And this, this um, SQL view, and it's got the extension ERB, which means Excel Report Builder, this view is available for any other reporting you might want to do. If you like to use SQL reporting services or anything else, you can use those types of tools. Now when I'm actually creating these fields, I can actually come in here and choose, um, you know, choose to overwrite the values of the fields, etc. And then what fields I'm actually going to display on the actual report. So I'll display the customer number, think we're total, the invoice number, the grand total, um, and then maybe something like the customer name. So just picking and choosing a few fields. I could have come in and just marked all the fields if I wanted to. But I'll just pick a few fields for our report. So once I've done that, I can actually go ahead and publish this report and it'll ask me to either publish it to a reports library, SharePoint, or just simply a file. So we'll just do a file in this case, and this is actually where it's actually going to publish this report. So once I click the publish button, it actually dynamically has created that report for us. So let me go look at that file share that I just created that report in. So if I go into here, we'll see there's my new report just created a few minutes ago, a minute or two ago. If I double click on this report, it'll bring the data in live from the back office system. And any changes I make to this, it'll actually remember those changes. So if I actually created any calculated fields or anything like that, it'll remember those changes. And, uh, and next time I open it up, it'll have those changes in the system. So say let's do something really quickly in Excel. Let's just create a pivot table. So I'm going to create a pivot table. Let's do it by customer name and grand total of the invoice and put a little chart there. Um, and so here's our chart. 
So there's grand total invoicing by customer number. So I could, I could name the chart and all those things, but you kind of get the idea. The, really the point of this is, once I go ahead and save this and I close this Excel spreadsheet, the next time I come in, five days later, if I come in back into this report, even if I'm not signed into the back office, it automatically refreshes to the current values. And even while I'm looking at the report, if I wanted to, I could click the refresh button. If something had changed in the back office, this report at that point would have updated. Multiple things you can do with this, this report writing tool. That's some of the more simple stuff. There's much more advanced things. But an end user can quickly, in a couple minutes, create the reports they need. And of course, obviously having a, a live values in Excel, you can do multiple things. Send them off as CSV or TXT files or Excel files, XML files to your customers for any data manipulation they might need to do. Thank you.